Welcome to Toffee TV. There's the Everton News Daily brought to you in association with the Sofa Score app. Uh, today, John Blaine held an exclusive interview with ex Everton owner Paul Gregg for Toffee TV. Uh, Gregg explained why the King's Dock Stadium fell through um, and the great opportunity to have that new stadium down. Um, down at the Mersey disappeared all those years ago. This is what Paul Gregg had to say. I, I think the main thing was was the King's Dock opportunity. Obviously, yes. It was yes. a hugely missed opportunity. And um, despite all my pleading with Bill, he said, I have to own the stadium. I said, but you're leasing a stadium for 125 years. I said, you've got no capital risk. I said, your love of spending all the money on the playing field is not frustrated because you're going to get a new stadium, but I said it will increase the opportunity. And the stadium was designed by the people who designed the Spurs Stadium. So we were like state of the art 20 years ago. What might have been, hey? Had that have happened 20 years ago, who knows where the football club would have been now. And obviously we are going to move down onto the banks of the Royal Blue Mersey next season, of course. Um, well, sorry, next year. We all have our home finished and be able to to move in next August, but could have happened. The club club could have been in a totally different place. Uh, that is an exclusive interview. That and more. He reveals a lot more in his exclusive interview with John Blaine. That'll be out uh, as a Premier member tonight. Uh, so if you are a Premier member, you can watch the rest of that very in depth uh, interview with Paul Gregg. If you're not a Premier member, it'll probably be out sometime next week. But it is good. It's worth a watch. He uh, says some interesting stuff about Everton, innit? Uh, Everton are due to discover their punishment for the second PSR charge early next week. That is according to journalist Paul Joyce. Everton, who knows what the uh, what they are to be deducted points-wise, if any. Um, there's lots of stuff going around. It could be none. It could be a suspended points deduction. It could be anywhere between one and six. Depends who you believe. Uh, personally, I think it might be one or two points, but what do I know? <laughs> um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with it. I think we just need it out there. We need to be able to draw a line. I actually think if Everton are given any points, though, I think they will appeal. That's the that's what my understanding of it is. The club will appeal if they get any points deducted. So this could drag on till after the season. What is massively important for Everton is that they beat Burnley tomorrow at Goodison Park. We need to start winning games of football so that points deductions become irrelevant, really, because we you know we're, we're safe and we can start planning again for next season. But we should be here and early next week. That is according to Paul Joyce. Uh, today. Uh, Joyce also uh, reports that potential owners, Triple Seven partners, maintain they will repay the £158 million stadium loan from MSP. Um, it's split between MSP Sports, local business from George Downing, and ADA Bell. It says Machiri is part of that as well. Not sure about that one. But there is an April 15th deadline for the repayment of that stadium loan. And according to Triple Seven, they're confident they will have repaid it by then. And that obviously will take another big slice of debt away from that and any charges that occur with it. But they have to be, be um, given the, the club first, don't they? There is uh, some confidence that from their side, definitely, that that will happen in the next seven to ten days. We've been hearing that for a long time, so who knows. And finally, Everton's game against Luton Town in the Premier League, uh, which was scheduled to take place on Saturday the 4th of May. That has been moved to Friday night, the 3rd of May. It's an eight o'clock kickoff. The game will be shown live for it. It's a tough game. It could be a pivotal game. Let's hope... Luton have lost every game up until then and Everton have won three or four games and it's a dead rubber. And I hope, if it is that, I hope it's a boring nil-nil game with hardly any shots and Sky are uh, a left ruined the decision to put that one on because we know why they've put it on. But they're making Evertonians travel down to Luton Town on a Friday night for that one. But uh, 
there you go it's 8 8 p.m on friday the 3rd of may that is it for the news daily uh thanks for watching make sure you give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and if you want to become a toffee tv premium member and watch that paul greg interview later the link is in the description qr codes on the screen now see you later